Good morning from the Appalachian Trail. Um, only did a little over 13 miles yesterday. Um, still getting used to the new pack. <laughs> and also, it was hot. So getting an earlier start today. I think this is the earliest I've ever left camp um, on this whole trip. But uh, yeah, I'm going to get hiking today. 17 and a half miles, I think, is the goal. So we'll see what happens. Could be less, could be more. Who's to say? Probably not less. Maybe more. We'll see. I don't know. All right, let's get hiking. Goodbye to our nice little swimming pool yesterday. You were a good one. Right down there, that rock was clutch. But gotta get hiking. Also, pack update. Don't super love it yet. <laughs> Still playing with the adjustments. Hopefully I'll get it figured out. Also, to be fair, I loved my light AF pack. So <laughs> other than the whole back issue, like it was great. So adjusting to something else is different, but uh, you know, figure it out, I guess. It's kind of cool looking. I'm very glad that Stitch and Lightning talked me out of doing this climb in the heat of the day, because it is 8.15 and I'm whew, sweating up a storm. Well, the rocks of Virginia have claimed their first victim. Ah, so there's a better look at that bad boy. Let's see. Yep, I would say that was a good rip. <laughs> oh, man. Well, maybe I'll sew it or I'll see if Stitch can sew it. Ah, man. These shoes aren't even that old either. Drats. If you want to know what the climb has been like so far, that pretty much sums it up. Steep and rocky. So I just came down these, but look how cool these stairs look. I do not know what kind of rocks those are, but they're very cool looking. Also, I'll tell you what, I feel so much better after yesterday. <laughs> like just mentally, I'm in so much, such a better mood. I've been pushing really hard to get miles because I have a certain time I need to be done by and just kind of focused on that and not enjoying it. And a couple nights ago, I had a good talk with Sun God who he's done the PCT a bunch of times and the CDT and this is his triple crown hike. But uh, just kind of talking about like, enjoy it and the miles will come and so i'm trying to do that <laughs> and i know i can hike the miles physically um so just not trying to push and make myself miserable and kind of enjoy my trip so you know gonna take an extra day on this stretch i've really been looking forward to the virginia triple crown which is coming up that's like towards the top of the list of things i was looking forward to on the trail so Going to slow down, enjoy that. I was going to take a zero in Daleville. I just won't take a zero, so it's fine, whatever. But, uh, yeah, so that is the latest. All right, taking a side trip to Kelly Knob, so I dropped my pack because I don't want to carry it. Um, because, you know what? Why not? You know what they say, side trails are like life. You never know what you're going to get, but sometimes you just have to risk it. So, you know, that or stitches getting in my brain, and I need to... Uh, Stitcher. Just kidding, Stitch, you're great. But well, we'll see what it's like. All right, made it to Kelly Knob. Not really sure how I feel about uh, the sketchy rocks. Yeah, I don't know if I like that. All right, uh, decided against the sketchy jump. So I had a back trail now. You know, sometimes you gotta risk it, right? Didn't look like there was a great view anyway because of the tree cover, and uh, I'm not a fan of sketchy things. So, oh well. You win some, you lose some. It was like, said 120 yards. So whatever. I've gone farther than that for water and a lot farther for that for a shelter in the Smokies. So, <laughs> you know, oh well. Apparently I am preparing for Rock Sylvania and also Vermud today. So, yay, Virginia. <laughs> this is interesting. Oh, at least there's steps, that's good. This is pretty in here. I'm pretty sure I'm going to go through a field soon, so hopefully that'll be cool like that. But for now, the woods. <laughs> All right, this is pretty cool. I like it. I like it. Super pretty in here. It's awesome. Look at this. It is gorgeous in here. Oh, man, I've missed these field views ever since we got them the first couple days in Virginia. Oh, my gosh. Love it. Oh my gosh, I'm just so excited. <laughs> we have had very limited views the last couple days and I've been a little sad about it, but this is great. 
gonna soak it up, that's for sure. I don't think I've ever seen a tree look like this. It's just pine cones, but like nothing else really on it. It's kind of cool. Another friendly reminder to turn around on the climbs. Beautiful. No parents, no horses, no bedtime. All right. <laughs> I'm not saying this is creepy, but I'm not saying that it's not. All right, made it to the Kefir Oak, the largest oak tree in the south on the AT. It's estimated to be 300 years old. Just um, for size reference, I'm gonna walk up to it here. That's my hand. And that's me. That's how big this tree is. <laughs> that's incredible. Uh, uh, like, oh my goodness. Whoa, was not expecting a bunch of cows. <laughs> All right, yep, just lots of cows. All right, that's fun. Be interested to see if it rains today because it sure is hot and humid. Mostly the humidity, but ah, there's a view. On today's episode of Power Lines on the Appalachian Trail, these ones, definitely a better view this way for sure. These guys are having a little party. There's more over there, more over there. Golly, seen a lot of them today, but not a party yet. Also, as you can see, we are climbing up the side of this mountain. Oh, it's humid. As you can see, I even had to put my hair in a bun to get it off my neck because it's so humid. I literally said to myself, well, I guess I'm gonna pull a stitch and do a bun, so. I'm gonna go 50-50 chance. She makes a comment to me about how I'm copying her because I have, quote, unresolved childhood trauma that I'm not a twin, unquote. So, I'll keep you updated. <laughs> and for the record, no, I am not trying to copy her. I'm just so sweaty. Also, I had lunch not long ago with uh, POTUS and Breaks. New names for ya. Hey, I'm making new friends. Um, no, but some guys, we camped with them last night, them and Marathon last night, so that was pretty fun. Yeah, that'll be fun. Drats, 0 for 2 on side trails today. You know, Sunshine has a policy that is, uh, she strictly does not do any side trails, so maybe I should adopt that one. Ha! But, Drats, 0 for 2. Ooh, but this is a sweet view. That's awesome. I will take this one gladly and be 0 for 2 on side trails. This is our second installment today of Power Lines on the Appalachian Trail. My guess is that I climbed up here from down there. That's my guess. So my first of apparently a dozen-ish cairns. Ah, all right, let's count them, shall we? One. LOL, never mind. Not gonna count them. <laughs> Scratch that. All right, Virginia coming strong with the views today. All right, wow. That is gorgeous. Absolutely incredible. So yes, absolutely incredible view. But also, that was the trail. <laughs> so, you know, you have to work for it out here. Look at that, another sweet view. All right, AT. All about it today. Oh, today just perfectly sums up the AT. Some beautiful views. Some sketchy rocks. Yep, that is the trail. Western Continental Divide. So apparently the water that flows that way flows into the Gulf of Mexico and that way into the Atlantic Ocean. So that's fun. Made it to the shelter. Hanging out with my old buddy Lightning, who I feel like isn't in videos as much as Stitch. So that's fun. <laughs> but uh, yeah, gonna set up and I don't know if this is good night. It probably is. I'll probably forget to film, but it's made oh it to God. camp. What? I'll wake her up. She, she will. At least 80% of my mornings, I wake up to an Australian accent or a Dutch accent. So there's that. All right. That's the update. Good morning from the Appalachian Trail. Boy, do I have a morning story for you. So, Stitch, what happened this morning? I don't know for how many a time one of our bear bikes got stuck, and I was the lucky one today. <laughs> so how do we get it down? Um, 
So I, I wasn't doing much, <laughs> fair to say, and I didn't come up with the plan. Uh, but uh, lightning over here stood on Firewalker's shoulders, and then she cut it off with her neck knife. <laughs> <laughs> By oh, in the meantime, Sun God was pulling it down to make sure it was low enough for her to cut it, and then when it released, I was able to catch it, but not Sun God, so he was on the ground, unfortunately. So. Uh... What a way to start the morning. That right there, that's the, the the knife girl. Pretty on brand for her, I would say. But yes, that was uh, the morning adventure. So, good morning from the Appalachian Trail. <laughs> Back on trail, following Stitch and Lightning for a little bit. We'll see. Is it trail magic? Water. Kind of. Nice. All right, got the Crocs on. Crew ready to cross this river. We got to ford it. So that's fun, but uh, luckily it's warm, so it won't be hopefully too miserable. So, go team, go! Alright, we'll see how Galaxy is gonna do with her little. Uh, come on, show us a little bit of swimming. What? Do a bit of a swim. Uh, look up. What? Look up. There you go. Don't focus where your feet are going. Look at me. <laughs> look at me. <laughs> nice look on. Thank you. Thank you. Surprise, surprise. It's very humid today, but about to start one of apparently two big climbs for the day. So also in an eight mile dry stretch. So loaded up with water. Let's get this show on the road. In other news, I sewed up my uh, my shoe today, so is it America's greatest sewing job? No, but hopefully it'll keep it uh, closed. I tried to go over it a couple times and make sure it would stay, so we'll see. So two exciting things today. One, 700 mile mark, pretty stoked for that. Two, starting the Virginia Triple Crown today, Dragon's Tooth today, and then McAfee Knob and Tinker Cliffs tomorrow. Very excited for that, so exciting stuff coming up. All right, great news. <laughs> Not to the top of the climb yet. That would be also great news. But I just sat down at a bench to have a snack and I was checking my phone and I just got enough viewing hours to get monetized on YouTube. <sighs> yes, I'm so excited. I know I won't make that much money, but like, that's exciting. So thank you for watching my videos. <laughs> um, that's awesome. I didn't actually think I would ever get there. So thanks, I appreciate you watching. <laughs> All right, time to hike. Also, yes, still incredibly humid and I'm still sweating a lot, so fun. I think I'm gonna go take this side trail, the Ani Murphy Monument, and now I'll take you with me. Most decorative veteran of World War II. Wow. I mean, this is really cool that they did this. Big old American flag up there. You can see as you go around, people have brought. Lots of things in honor of him. It's really cool. So that was pretty cool to get to see. Definitely recommend. It's just a short side trail if you're up here. Um, America's most decorated World War II veteran. So that's pretty awesome. Update on the Z-Pax pack. Much better. <laughs> I finally, I think, got the adjustments correct. Much better. I mean, I love my lead AF pack, so like, still a little biased, but liking this um, lately, so yeah.
close to hang gliders. <laughs> I just realized that. That's hilarious. But we're walking. Well, I'm walking. I'm the only one here. I'm walking. You're coming with me. All right, little tiny view. We see you. So I don't think I ever went over the plan for today. 16.3 uh, miles because we want to sunrise uh, McAfee's Knob. So like the mileages are weird this section. Also, it's a, been a rough section. <laughs> um, the climbs have been pretty steep and a lot of ridge walking, which has been really rocky. So it's been taking forever. So cannot push the miles as much, which is a little unfortunate, but I mean, there are sections like that. It is what it is. So 16.3 today and uh, yeah, hopefully it's not such slow going, but I've heard also that the ascent to Dragon's Tooth is not the most fun. So we will see how that goes. But for now, going to keep hiking. So I think this sums it up right here. Is it difficult? Not really. Is it sketchy? Not that much. It just takes time to carefully maneuver the rocks. So that's what I've been doing. You know, not the worst, just time consuming. So takes a little longer to do everything during the day. That view is not bad either. Also a little bit feel like I'm in Hawaii. Uh, very muggy and humid and hot and all those words, but also lush green mountains or Jurassic Park, one of the two. Four miles of climbing to Dragon's Tooth with lunch in the middle, let's do it. Got some more pink lady slipper, look at this. There, and up here, and a bunch of them up here. Awesome. All right, just had lunch with Stitch and Lightning, and we're floating around the idea of doing two extra miles today to go to a brewery, which lets you tent and has showers and bathrooms and food. So we'll see. Heard the climb up to Dragon's Tooth is gnarly, so we're just gonna climb it and then see how we're doing. So we'll see how we how it goes where we end up. This is interesting. Looks like a haven for snakes, but interesting. Nope, 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 I don't do snakes. Nope. All right, look at that view. Climbing up to Dragon's Tooth, getting the first of our three Triple Crown areas, places, places, done. But until then, I'm just climbing. Still climbing to Dragon's Tooth, but that's an awesome view. Sweet. Just hiking and 700 miles. Oh, 700 miles. Wow. Really walked that with these little, well, actually they're big feet. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's awesome. Very exciting. Oh my gosh. That's awesome. I love hitting the 100 mile markers. Oh my gosh, still climbing Dragon Street, but this is an incredible view. Wow. I like the AT, they said. It'll be fun, they said. Oh my gosh, that'll be fun to go up. Oh my goodness, there's a breeze right now. Oh, it's a godsend. Oh, it is amazing. Never thought I'd be so thankful for a little wind, but so great. <laughs> Still not sick of this view yet. I don't know what is with that lot. Is there a gun range nearby? That's ridiculous. It's been happening forever. It's ridiculous. Oh, I'm definitely taking the side trail to Dragon's Tooth. That is for certain. Oh, that's pretty cool. Look at that. That is Dragon's Tooth. That's awesome. Might go over there and see if I can get a better view of that. That's cool. I didn't realize how massive it is. Wow. Oh my gosh. All right, let's go see if there's a view. That's a pretty sweet view. I am not going up any higher than this, but that's awesome. Yeah, pretty cool in here. Sweet. One of the Triple Crown places done. Well, fingers crossed that that means the rocky and steep sections are over because I am over it. I was not mentally prepared for that. Over it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having a snack because I can feel myself getting a little grumpy. But uh, yeah, uh, we are just going to go to the camp we were going to camp at anyway and then walk a mile round trip to the gas station to get town food because it's about where we're at today. <laughs> Alrighty, that's the update. 1.1 1 .1 
Fingers crossed it looks like that, because that's doable. So, yep, a long day today. Also though, look at these pretty flowers. Been seeing these today. Those are nice. So, big change of plans. <laughs> are you mad about what, what, what happened? <laughs> well, we got to a so-called campsite, which was actually on next to your road that was very loud. With and only one flat tent space. One flat tent space. So, I was sitting there and the seat was like, well, I'm happy to stay here. And I was like, well, I'm not going to sleep at all. Therefore, I looked at the the, way, the map and I'm like, oh, Roanoke is only like right here. So here we are. <laughs> and I was not looped into this plan because there's a language barrier between me and my Dutch friend and I went down the wrong path, but ended up in the same place. So whatever, but yeah. So here we are, I guess. And I was having a real bad day. So this is a fun surprise. We're having dinner at Burger King. If you know me, you know that I love Burger King and there's one really close to my work and it's kind of a problem. So I'm living my best life. So shout out to Lightning for having us come to town. I don't know how much they are in love with Burger <laughs> Are in love with Burger King, but I am so excited. I would also like to personally apologize to Stitch <laughs> because I keep getting here when she's taking bites of food. So this is my video apology. <laughs> That's I did it again. <laughs> that was not planned that way. Okay. Well, we're going to go to bed soon. Okay. Good night.